How about the Orthodox prayer corner? Everybody has an Orthodox prayer corner, right? Everybody knows about the prayer corner. In our house, as you can see here, an old picture from the pre-revolutionary Russia, this was the corner of their living room. And they have there the analogion before the, the massive collection of icons. These would, these would have been icons made by hand in those days. I don't think they had any kind of mass production of icons. But that was a treasure in the house. I remember when when, there, when I was reading about the uh, population exchange, when all the Greeks from Asia Minor and Pontos and all those places were forced out and forced to, to march across Asia Minor and to go to Greece, of course, what they took with them was the holy icons. They were the treasure of the family. They were the things they wanted to pass on to their children. And the holy icons, the most important icons they took with them when they were thrown out and run out of their homelands. And the same with Russians who were fleeing the communists. So uh, it is ideal for all of us to have icons that are hand painted. That's what we should be saving up for, putting money aside, uh, have hand painted uh, icons would be the ideal. Now, many of us can't do that. We don't have the money. So of course, it's for, for, perfectly blessed to get icons that are made uh, in other ways like paper or um, other, there's other ways that they make icons today that are more akin to um, painted icons, but it shouldn't, we shouldn't necessarily be um, satisfied if we fill our house with all kinds of paper icons and then we say, well, that's it. It is blessed and it is desirable for us to purchase from icon iconographers hand painted icons, which then become treasures to our family we have them in a you know a special place and it's it's um it's really i think beneficial spiritually so let's talk about the prayer corner the prayer corner obviously most of you should know this i hope is a physical place reserved for personal and family prayer in the orthodox countries the faithful call it the front corner the beautiful corner the holy icon corner whatever god's place uh, whatever its name, this prayer corner is the spiritual heart of the home. This reminds me of a prophecy by one of the elders in the 1940s. I think it was uh, I think it was uh, the Ukrainian saint. I want to say Lazarus, but I can't remember actually if that's his name. It just escaped me. He talked about the box that will come, and it will have horns on it, and it will replace the prayer corner. And this will be a way that the Antichrist will guide and, and, and trick the, the masses to follow after him. Of course, he's talking about the television. He's talking about the modern way of communicating, just like we're doing right now. That This box will become the center of the home and the icon corner will be forgotten. And what a tragedy the 20th century saw with communism and secularism and capitalism and all these isms which have refocus people it's it's very different home and i've said this many times i'll say it again it's a very different home to walk into when the icon corner is the center there's no television in that place and people sit down and look at each other face to face and they don't look at a screen all day so if you have a television and that's the center of your family and you want to be an orthodox christian take that throw it out into the garbage and replace it with your icon corner and begin to make that center of your house and it should serve as a constant reminder to pray instead of i'm going to sit down and lose myself and have no benefit whatsoever i'm going to watch some television show no no i'm going to sit down and i'm going to find myself and find my god and be in communion with him and that will be the prayer corner will be the place that will draw you in to remind you right should be a sanctuary for you and your loved ones a place where you can rest and renew yourselves as you live in this world that's the basics of the program now here's some examples that i'm giving you and we'll talk about some of the things we see here so obviously you can have one central icon corner but in every room ideally you can have an icon corner as well something very simple like you see in the middle of the page on the bottom you have just three icons on a shelf with a beautiful uh, cloth and, and flowers around it that would be in the corner of the room your bedroom or the, the bedrooms of the house. Uh, even in the kitchen, you could have an icon or two 
um, like the one you see here on the left, which is just a small corner with a uh, shelf and a icon um, uh, oil lamp, I should say, before the icon. Uh, not just this massive icon corner you see on the top left, which would be in the center of the house, but all these, these smaller ones could also be in each room. And it is very common to have before the icons, like you see on the far right, this is from the Holy Cross Monastery in West Virginia, in the uh, visitor's house there, they have these icons, and then they have this analogion, and in front of that they have the prayer book, they have what looks like the priest book, the, the, the uh, blessing book, and then you have the uh, scriptures, and you have the cross, uh, and then it looks like you have some other service prayers there in the paperback or in uh, photocopy, and that is very common. So when you go to the prayer corner, of course, you're going to want to have a table or on the actual shelf, you're going to want to have a sensor, your incense, you want to have the oil lamp, you're going to want to have the tool, tool, whatever you need there, the oil down below, you want to have all the things there that you can maintain uh, the prayerful atmosphere, you're going to want to pray before the icons with the oil lamp, etc. Uh, all of this you can learn online, I don't need to go into a lot of details, there's plenty of articles on it, but I think you could, you could uh, follow the link that I have underneath the title here, and you could just yourself and find out more about what goes into a prayer corner. But obviously, you're going to have the icon of Christ. You're going to have the icon of the Mother of God, like you see in the middle here. You have Christ on the right, right, and the Mother of God on the left. And you have, looks like maybe the patron saint in the middle. Uh, and you have the oil lamps before them, which is very good, very basic. So you're going to be, you're going to have to be buying, obviously, a lot of olive oil, because that's what we use in the, in the lamps. Now, there's other kinds of oils, but the tradition is olive oil, and that's, uh, as St. Paisio said, we give the best to the Lord, and we, we offer that up to him. So that should give you some basic sense of what an icon corner should be about. Now, what else can I say before we depart? Uh, whatever I'm not saying, you can ask me in the questions, uh, if you have some particular questions about this. But here's where you're going to say your prayers before communion. Here's where you're going to say... Uh, your act, your comp line in the evening. Um, uh, you're not going to necessarily say your prayer rule here, unless you live alone, because that's what you want to do in your own bedroom or wherever you have that you can be alone with God. Um, and this is going to be more communal. 